Okay, y'all, so first things first, we're going to get our shrimp in the pan. And we're going to peel them if we have to. If we don't have to peel them and they're already peeled, we're just going to go ahead and get them in the pan. Okay, y'all, so first, we're going to get our mixture going. We got the shrimp in here, and we also got the half of claw and the half of lump crab meat. Let's get it mixed. Now we're going to go ahead and add our seasoning. I decided to go with this one to hold mine together, to hold the mixture. You guys can choose what you like, but this is the one I went with. Alrighty, then we're gonna dash a little salt and pepper in there. We're gonna put a little bit of Obey seasoning in there. And then we're gonna go ahead and drop a little bit of this in there. This is the best to use. Not a whole lot, guys. This right here is plenty, and I got a little bit on the sides, but that's about it. This is when it's all mixed up together now we're going to go ahead and get our you're going to whisk two eggs together so let's get those whisked up nice and good the way they need to be now if you have a whisk you can do it with a whisk but if you don't you can use the next best thing which is a fork and just pull them together as though you see me doing it right here get it nice and whisked up and it's ready. We we'll take our egg wraps. Now these are the egg wraps I decided to go with. Y'all, this is how you do it. So you take your first wrap and you're gonna go ahead and get your egg whites, which are right here. You're gonna take a fork and you're gonna put those egg whites all on the outer layer. Now make sure your surface is clean because it can get a little messy. And plus this is where you're going to be preparing your food at. So you want to make sure that surface is nice and clean. Spread that yolk all the way around. Now I'm going to be doing two layers. If you only want to do one, then you won't have to do this process. But for me, I want it extra crispy, so I'm going to do two layers. So then I'm just going to take another thin layer like this. And all I'm going to do is try to lay it nice and easy on top. just like that so that it's more thicker and it's like that all right I'm gonna take my filling make sure the shrimp and the crab meat is evenly portioned now I'm not gonna make them too big I'm gonna do just enough because I want my filling in there to get done because I didn't pre-cook everything so I want everything to cook at a nice even pace and not be undercooked so I'm gonna get that nice and easy in the middle now y'all watch me struggle with rolling it. I am not the best, so bear with me. All right, now y'all, time to roll. I'm not the best with the rolling, but we gonna get it rolled up. Hey y'all, so I got it rolled up. I'm gonna go ahead and tuck the ends and get it ready. Okay y'all, so this is me rolling mine the best to my ability. If you wanna get it tight and tucked at the ends, I suggest you just put a little bit more um, egg white on there, but this is my roll. This is how we're looking. Okay, y'all, and this is how it looks when it's in the pan. About two more minutes. They only take about three minutes tops. Three minutes top, guys. They don't take a long time to cook. So I wouldn't go leaving them in there for five or six minutes or your egg rolls are going to be too brown or possible burnt. Okay, we're going to go ahead and get ready to pull it out. This is what it's looking like. held together y'all even know that i'm not the perfect roller it did its job and it held together okay y'all this is how they are looking so the two sauces i decided to go with this one and this one 